the dynamics of flirting, we're here in the second half of the uh, kind of setting up how, how we approach this. The guys flirting, the dynamics of flirting is, is all the mechanics, what happens, what you're thinking about, and I'm gonna do some demonstration in a second. The, the beauty of this is that it's, it's, it's allowable if you're in a committed relationship, at least in my book, and I won't, if a girlfriend says no, I just like, you know, I, I need to be able to have interactions with other women. And most of them have a sexual overtone. So that's, that's my bag, and, and those are my terms. Secondly, even a guy who's single or doesn't have a restriction on his behavior still needs to know how to flirt because flirting is how we prime the pump for sex. It all, basically, as I said before, or I'm gonna use a different word here, anticipation is what drives female sexuality. So, and I'll tell three quick stories. It, the actual act of sex, I mean, it, as, as an earlier speaker yesterday talked about some of the mechanics and this and that, it's very important to get the girl to come back and to enjoy herself. But actually getting a girl to agree to sex in the first place, to have, it's all about building the anticipation, okay? And to be a little crude, I usually, if I hang out with a little girl, I usually text her at the end of the night, I said, check your panties. And she, she'll check back and she'll say, yeah, they're wet. So I, and I, I may have done very little, but that's always, it's like checking the oil in a car. You check that and it, it shows that the girl is basically primed. And the great thing about women, and, and I think uh, Danila or Morton was saying this, is that they have incredible memories. So you can ignite them with some flirting and then you can let them simmer for months. And then, and that actually just builds it and you can come back and they're ready to go if, the, if they're free to, to act on it. So they, they generally don't forget a guy who's turned on the flame a little bit. And I'll tell you three quick stories. I, um, I was out and we have a place on the beach in New York called the Hamptons. It's, uh, people go from the city and they, and I was there talking to a girl and I was, she was going through a divorce, a, a gorgeous girl. She was, um, she's half Spanish, half Russian, is that right? Um, and she walked in, she, I like girls in tight white pants. She was wearing all white, very, very sexy. And she was with an annoying friend, but um, and I was there and I was, I couldn't act on it. And she was married, going through a, a terrible end of a marriage. And I had a girlfriend at the time, but, but I just talked to her. And, and at one point I, 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 was, I was calling her. I said, you got a nice figure, Jesus, you keep this in good shape. And uh, I tapped her on the tummy a little bit, felt here, and it was like firm, and I said, geez, wow. And she goes to the trainer. And that's it, and I think I gave her a hug and a kiss on the cheek. And then, like two months, no, yeah, two or three months later, I got a card from my doorman in my building, handwritten by her. She says, it was so nice for you to hear me out. I met you this summer, da-da-da. I can't stop thinking about you. She wrote, dot, dot, dot. What am I gonna do about this? And she left her cell phone number. Anyhow, I got in touch with her, and she had ridden her bike and dropped it off in my place. She lives in New York, too. Anyhow, I, um, I gave her, I got on, I texted her, this and that. She came over one night, boom, she was naked within 30 seconds. It was all ready to go, and we had sex the whole night. Like, there was nothing spoken. She said, oh, you're ravaging me, you're, I mean, you're ravaging me. We're not even talking, uh, it, boom, she was naked, and then we had the whole night. And the point of that is that those initial Months prior, initial moments had primed the pump so well that it was like ready to go. The car was on the driveway, the gas tank was full. I didn't have to do anything. So that's the power of flirting appropriately. Um, another example, I was at a, a conference and I was flirting with a girl, touching her uh, just in the right way. Not, not, the key here too is not to be crass. You have to be able to do it in public. You can't be grabbing her ass and her breasts. And her, but, it's a playful way. Um, and just joking around, we were actually a mixed company. There was two other guys there, this and that. Well, later on, she came back to my, to my apartment. We didn't even say, to my hotel, we didn't even say a word. I threw her on the bed, and within minutes, she had her mouth around my, so my point is, all that work, you don't have to do any work when they arrive if you know how to flirt properly. And the beauty of this is you can lay the work in the beginning, if you're in a, even if you're in a committed relationship, or if, if you're single. In other words, it's an insurance policy. Because if you break up, boom, you just activate the switch, they all come on. So you have it kind of there for you. I'll tell you one more story from a few years ago. My, um, in each of these highlights a different thing. The first one I talked about, 
with a girl in Montauk who came over. She, that was all verbal, just eye contact and talking, and list, mostly listening. The second girl, it was, it was touching, joking around, touching a little, just very subtly, the right places to touch. And then the third girl, my ex-girlfriend, uh, the Swiss girl, it was voice. I met her on the street in New York. This was in 2005, da-da-da. I called her the next day. She was in the neighborhood. I said, come up. And she said, all right. She came up to my apartment, and we fooled around. I don't think we had sex, but we almost got naked, and it was hot. And we ended up dating for like two and a half years after that. And I asked her, why'd you come up to my, you hardly knew me. And she said, it was your voice. Something about your voice just mesmerized me. She said, I just turned where I was going, and I came where I didn't even question it. So that's auditory is another component of effective flirtation.